So in terms of the digital health training opportunities available in the North East, there are two principal strands and then a the third strand that I'll mention as well. So the first two strands are, so the first one is doctors training in primary care, so those training to be GPs. We have something called innovative training placements or programmes and they will then be able to spend 12 months of their GP training working in primary care to then focus on digital opportunities in primary care, working between the primary care teams and digital teams in the region and the integrated care board to then look at what improvements they could make or what particular challenges clinicians are facing and then to work on improving those. So that's the ITP posts. The second strand is a strand that we're trying to increase the number of people taking part in and that is something called flexible portfolio training. So what flexible portfolio training is, is that's for doctors in specialty training who can then spend 20% of their working week, so typically a day a week of their non-on-call time, working on digital projects. And that's working in secondary care with acute trusts and mental health trusts, working with the people called the CCIOs, so the Chief Clinical Information Officers, to then lead on digital developments. And that is a, a strand of training that was previously open to people doing physician lead training, so those training in medicine and medical specialties, but that's now being expanded across specialty training from 2023 onwards. And so applications are shortly going to close for that and we'll see what the, the uptake is and we'll take it from there from the 2023 year onwards. The third strand of training is something that's a little bit more bespoke, and that is for doctors and dentists in training who want to really develop more bespoke or individualised training or experience within digital and that's typically by arrangement with uh, either an acute trust and the, the previous experiences have been in acute trusts um, and doctors have then gone and arranged with CCIOs to spend a period of time typically, typically either six months or 12 months doing a digital project and they're the three main strands of digital training available in the North East and North Cumbria. So why would I recommend digital training opportunities in the North East and North Cumbria? So firstly, the, we all need to acknowledge and recognise the importance that digital and digital health have in our day-to-day -day life. And so digital innovations and digital training is, is very important in terms of having clinicians with the skill set they need to navigate the interface between digital teams and clinical teams. And therefore, we need to give people the experiences and the skills they need to be able to speak the language the digital teams speak but also relay back the digital language into clinical language for their clinical colleagues and also be able to see the, the clinical impact that digital changes can have. And if we didn't involve clinicians, we would lose some of that or we would need to iterate and, and do more development than we do now. Because if you have clinical input at the development stage or in the testing stage, then you have far more useful output. And colleagues often ask me, why does that need to be a doctor? Doctors effectively are expensive members of the team. Essentially, we have a unique skill set in terms of being able to look at the medical needs, but also look at the wider clinical needs and work with other medical and clinical professionals in terms of nurses and healthcare professionals to get the most out of the, the digital endeavours that all organisations are now making. In terms of other training opportunities available in the North East North Cumbria over and above clinical training, the LSFD, so the Liver Sport and Faculty Development Team, have a range of opportunities in terms of management training, uh, training to look at quality improvement, and those are all available and advertised on an annual basis via the LSFD website, and all doctors and training are sending information about those to apply. In terms of the governance of the essentially extracurricular training opportunities that people can avail of them full within their training time, we ask that these particular opportunities or the digital time that is spent is assessed during your parent specialty ALCP or Annual Review of Competence and Progression. What we ask is that you have meetings regularly with your digital supervisors in the organisation that you're working in and then also complete relevant paperwork when sent to you as either a flexible portfolio trainee or as an ITP or an integrated training programme trainee in primary care. And then that information is then assessed by the team doing your overall assessment for the year when they come to do that assessment. And so that's how we aim to embed governance within the training that you're taking part in.